I'm a decent swimmer, but compared to Rasmus, I'm like so slow. But Rasmus is also like one of the best swimmers in CrossFit, I think. Apparently he did swimming when he was younger. Like, weren't you on a swim team, Rasmus? Uh, I was, yeah. <laughs> I was on a swim team when I was five years old for, or actually four years old. I think I was on the swim team for three years with a group of girls from elementary school. And then once everyone kind of quit, I quit too. But I think that kind of carried over to just my background in swimming because I know the basics of freestyle, backstroke, breaststroke. I know how to butterfly now, but it probably now looks <laughs> really bad. Um, so. That definitely helped with my swimming, just having that background when I was younger. One set with fins, one set with no fins, and then back down. 150 kick with fins, 100 pull, 50 kick. Completely lost me. I remember 50 meters or something. Snailing in here behind me. How's it going, Lauren? Almost done, as you can see, I'm beating Rasmus. <laughs> okay, look at her feet. Put your feet up in the air. <laughs> I see I see a difference there. Kicking. That's why literally this workout probably has 800 yards of kicking in it. Um, I've really bad when I'm swimming without a kickboard or fins. I end up just using all arms and no legs. So that's why we're doing a lot of kicking today. Yes. Ready? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you, you, uh... Again, Rasmus is the one, he balances me out. Like, I think we're so good for each other. Like, all his qualities that he's so good at, like, I'm not good at, so like, he def we definitely have like our strengths and weaknesses. And for me, just being with him again, like I just feel like he kind of holds our relationship up. And he's like the funny one and makes everything so easy and lighthearted. And I'm constantly like stressing about like every small thing. And he's constantly telling me to just relax. And like he loves CrossFit. We both love training together. We love being adventurous. We love traveling. We love eating food. Literally, like we have all these common interests. like. We spend 24 seven together and I never get tired of him. Well, I do get tired of him. There are days when like we both just get snappy at each other, but I'm always like looking forward to like waking up next to him or going to sleep with him. And so like just that feeling being with him that I have, I definitely know it's a special feeling that I don't get with anyone else. So yeah. We go to the gym together, we train together, then we work on Grown Strong, then outside of Grown Strong, we're spending time together and hanging out and doing actually normal couple things. And then we're going to bed together, sleeping together, like literally doing 24 seven, everything together. So there, I think we must be meant to be because we haven't broken up or anything. Obviously we're getting married, but so it's been, it's been really good. He proposed in May. It was right after we competed at the Asia CrossFit Championships in Shanghai, China. So he must have carried that ring all the way. Well, he did carry that ring all the way with him. He was acting so suspicious the whole week. Like he was hiding his computer, hiding his phone. And then 
after the competition, we were going to Beijing, and we were supposed to stay at this hotel, but then he got, he actually changed our reservation, and we stayed at a nicer hotel. We were literally, you could see through our windows, you could see the Great Wall of China, like where we were sleeping. It was so beautiful, and that night, he had planned a picnic. So we went out for a picnic and we had to like walk through uh, this like forest to find like our picnic spot. We could see the Great Wall of China right behind us. We were like all by ourselves. The sun was setting. It was literally like perfect despite there was like some bugs where we were sitting and everything. But it was literally like the perfect setting you could ever imagine. And yeah, he ended up proposing to me uh, right next to the Great Wall of China while we were having that picnic. <laughs> we are literally going in a freezer. Literally. How cold is it, Dad? I don't know, it was like 52. 52, 52 degrees Fahrenheit right now. It's nice. Usually we go in for five minutes, but today we're just gonna do. You don't have to say that. This save you usually doing thirty minutes, and today we're just doing twenty. <laughs> romantic but it's actually kind of funny so he moved to San Diego to go to English school back in 2013 and he came to train at our 1 p.m. session which is when like most of the like top athletes at our gym train at and I was like who is this guy coming to train with us at 1 p.m. I couldn't even pronounce his name right I said like Ramses or Ramos like I didn't even pronounce it correctly I basically ignored him for probably the first two months which was like so mean of me but I gave him no time of day, and then I obviously, then I realized, oh, I'm pronouncing his name wrong. It's Rasmus, just because I never heard of Rasmus. It's not very, it's not a common name in the U.S., but in Denmark, as I later find out, like, everyone's name is Rasmus. Uh, and so, yeah, we ended up just meeting at the gym, and then we were just hanging out more. We went to all the same competitions, and then one day he just asked me to go to the movies, and we went and saw the Hunger Games. And from there, it was kind of just like, on and off for a year like I wasn't really sure if I was that into him and he was obviously very into me and I mean I was just like 19 years old or 20 years old and obviously I was still figuring my life out and then one day he said he was going to be going back to Denmark like he was going to leave and I was like so sad that he was leaving and so that was kind of when I was like no let's like you need to stay and then we ended up started dating after that and that's when we made it official. Get your shoulders under. Oh my god. Can you just be quiet? <laughs> Gosh, I'm like barely able to just get my head over when you're in here. training day 3,000 over 3,000 calories a day so usually my normal macros are 165 grams of protein 65 grams of fat and 400 grams of carbs so not scared to eat or back in 2014 I didn't even warm up at all like I would just go straight into lifting and gymnastics and everything and now my body hurts and I totally understand oh all the people who were a little bit older than me and be like, Lauren, just wait until you hit like your mid-20s or 30s. 